Day four of the Trailblazer League. My stats are looking amazing. And yesterday I upgraded the gear massively. Got the Fire Cape, the Whip, the Zenite, and completed all of the DK's rings. Currently I'm 3,760 points off my final relic and 40 tasks off my next area. Tier six relics are very strong, so I'm looking forward to unlocking those this video and also my final area. My main focus is gonna be unlocking the final area as that'll have more tasks. So I'm gonna smash through the easy tasks to try and get these 40 done. Kandarin Diary done. I just gotta to speak to the wedge with his little pot belly there. And I get an XP lamp. I'm spending it on runecrafting. I'm trying to get base 50s as that is another task. And RC is kind of slow. Dear diary, today I completed the Lumbridge diary. And got a bunch more runecrafting XP. First beginner clue on runescape ever. Hell and chaps, but we're there for the task. I then broke up a relationship. Wore some myth armor. Killed a demon. Wore some more armor. Got one task from Steve. And threw an absolute rager. End of the easy easies. 30 prayer potions made. Just going through the production tasks. And that is a U short bow, which is actually my new best bow. One of the benefits of choosing the Fremnic area is the blast furnace is fully operational. Along with the dwarves, which come to help out. And this is also a task to use the blast furnace for free because you need 60 smithing for this. So if I just tell him that I'm a very expert smith, then that's all good. Also, the shop is very good for alls here on Iron Man, as I'm sure many of you are aware. 50 points for unlocking beer. 50 rune crafting for the base 50s and 50 water runes is a task. Barok medium diary, and it all sounds like herb lore XP from here. Fremnik has access to the stonemason, which is great for construction. And there is the end of the Fremnik diary. All Fremnik easy tasks completed using Pear the Seer. Quick telly to Moon Clan, and that is another medium task done. Spottier cape done. And we're about to move our house and it's going to cost an absolute fortune real life simulator 25k task done though craft 100 orbs done i am smashing through all these tasks right now once again fremenic area coming in clutch here i can actually use super glass make at the charters and then just blow my glass like this there's a lot of crafting related tasks and i do have the zenite in the back so in the back of my mind i'm thinking i need to get high crafting to use that and turn it into jewelry so we're gonna smash out the crafting tasks next. 65 crafting, that is enough for now. With a plus 12 boost, that means I'm now 77 and can make red dehyde bodies. Full red dehyde, my new best range outfit, and full blue dehyde, not so good ranged outfit, are both 50 point tasks. I also needed 75 crafting to make a magic birdhouse, which is a 100 pointer. I'm working towards 20 birdhouses right now too. 100 points is given for killing Vorkath. I have no idea how my scuffed gear is gonna do here. I'm using melee because my range is just too low and I don't have addy balls. So yeah, we're gonna be whipping it at double speed, but it's got a million slash defense. Is this gonna go well? Probably not. I'm already panicking. I'm taking no chances because I literally can't afford the 100k to buy my stuff back if I die. No, that's my last sip of anti-poison gone and I'm venomed. This is not looking good. It's going to be very, very close. Big spec, come on. Oh, come on. I'm going. No, wait, it died. I get it. Do I get it? Do I get the task, please? Oh, I didn't get- Are you serious, man? There it is. Vorkath is dead. I will be returning here with much better gear because it's a pretty strong boss to kill. 430 kill, new PB, and Dragon Bolts, and Blue Dehyde. That's an amazing drop because I need to make 30 Blue Dehyde bodies. Here we are crafting again. 30 Blue Dehyde bodies is a task, and that's a really good task because I make a lot of GP from that. So even though it was slow, I still kind of need to do it. And there it is, 50 farming, which is base 50s on my Trailblazer account, just doing a herb run. Need to keep up with these because I need to make brews eventually. I thought I'd head over to Herbie Boar for one trip after I did my birdhouse run, and that is 83 Hunter effectively. Now I can get Dragon Imps, that's a 100 point task, but everyone on the NAM wants a Dragon Imp right now. Another unique point to Fremenic, I can actually come and kill Rune Dragons as the DS2 quest is auto completed. I've just realized I forgot my insulated boots, but it should be fine. With double attack speed, Rune Dragon should be pretty decent. Also, I think I will be returning here later on for Dragon Crossbow. Rune Dragon dead. And actually, it didn't take that long, even though my gear isn't the greatest right now. So, 
definitely going to be coming back to the money dragons 100 points all right another task here subscribe to the solo emission youtube channel 500 points a master task oh my god that's so many points i definitely recommend you guys do this if you're working towards your irl relics and that is an ancient wyvern kill completed I waited so long yesterday doing PVM and stuff, so I've just got so many things I can do really fast. I definitely did not just fail the fishing trawler twice. Uh, one was nine minutes in, <laughs> the other was like seven minutes in. <laughs> 10 points for that. Don't need the stash unit, but what I do need to do is stash these points in my back pocket. 100 for a hard stash unit, I'll take it. There was an oversight when considering the Western Provinces diary from Jagex, so long story short, everyone has 1,000 chompy kills now, so if you want some free points and you're living in Kandarin, bring yourself down here, do big chompy bird hunting, and you can wear three hats and get three tasks for 160 points. These hats look so good as well, I'm so glad they unlocked it. Maybe someone at Jagex just wanted some fashion scape and they fucked up the code. I don't know why I didn't start doing this earlier. I'm juggling clues just like Swampletics and UIM Verf on his Karamja account. You get one step you can complete on each clue and then you can do them one at a time and that's the easiest way to get a cast kit. All right, so I did one step on each clue and even though I can't complete the next steps on most of them, I've still got four steps completed because I separated them out individually. So as long as I can do one of these three on the floor here, then I can complete my medium clue. Would really recommend for this for doing clues, by the way, because with the area restrictions, it's so difficult to get completion. And using this one simple trick, scientists everywhere hate him. He's got a medium clue. He's got some points. Yes, 50. I'll oh, please say that's a unique. Double task, double points. 100 points total. All right, I got another clue scroll from the cockatrices, and we got some purple sweets. That is a task. Don't even care what points are. 10 points. Don't even care, because... I just want to get as many tasks as I can to get to my third area. This region is so good for superior monsters. Cockatrices have superiors. I can pick this as a task. And I've killed 50 now, which is 250 points. Didn't even take that long because they're 1 in 25 of my Slayer Relic. Finally, I've reached 20 bird houses. The, uh, the efficiency gods are not smiling down on me right now. I can't, I can't be asked doing bird houses on the Trailblazer League, but... Figured I had to come complete this task. The plan for finishing up my tasks and points revolves around Tazars. Now, these things have a very common drop rate in the league of weaponry and armor. There it is. First weapon drop. They're times three the drop rate. So it's like 140 to get something useful. And that's 100 points. I should have done this earlier. That is my final task for my last area. And now I'm going to smash out the last relic so far. So... Where am I going to choose? I am going to choose Mauritania. Pretty predictable. A lot of late game PVM there. We've got Nightmare. We've got TOB. We've got some Barrows. We've got Black Mask, Imbued, Salvami, all that sort of stuff. So lock it in. The last area. I can't go anywhere else in the Trailblazer League without making a new account. I'm done. I've unlocked all the areas. All I need to do now smash out the last points for the last relic 50 points in the Kandarin task list which was actually locked behind mauritania because you have to be on slayer task here we are in the swamp lands i am ready to just rattle off a bunch of new tasks i can get it's so nice it's like a clean slate loads of points to be harvested right now welcome to mauritania back through the dough back full of smoke sit back relax and max with the hoe chat with my folks laughing and jokes i'm hard to the core and she bad to the bone ask her the bone chats on the phone her three friends would have just been tagging along as for the flow back to the song flashbacks only bring me back to that thong because we've been getting we've been getting high all week smoking drinking i'm her girl and she get high so this is a league specific thing i can sell 10 chaos and death runes to the store in karamja and if I X out the shop, I actually get the full price again because the store replenishes. That's a league mechanic right there. And I get more tockle for selling my runes because I want to try and buy some of these armors and weapons for points. Obsidian Cape. Nice. These are actually pretty common, aren't they? These drops in here. All 100 points as well. Oh no, I got an Obby Cape number two. It's not too bad because I can just sell it to a shop for some tockle for buying stuff. Sell the Obby Cape. And we got like 20k tockle for it, but I have literally no use. Gonna buy this thing and wear it for another 100 points. Sell another cape and buy another shield. Another 
100 points. This is so nice in here. So many tasks. Also, the Obby Shield is really good for me. It's plus five strength bonus, and I can't get defenders with my regions, so that is by far my best melee shield for now. And buy the final weapon to Zarket M, and that is... What? What? No, where's my points? Not like this. How's this one not a task? On the final stretch now, I just want to do like some big tasks rather than running around doing the small ones. That is 99 strength. My first level 99 on the league account. And it's 250 points, which is really, really big. And one more superior for 85 Slayer. Now I can kill an Abyssal Demon on task. On task, Abyssal Demon kill. This is a fat stack of points. 250. I am flying into the final relic here. And I'm pretty much done now because... As you can see, I'm going Karamja. That's right, I am launching the fire cape. I want to sacrifice it because I want to do Inferno. And because it is 250 whole points. Look at this, 15k points. I can now get the tier 6 relic. Oh, so good. I ended up being the fifth person to unlock all the relics behind 9-2, Fraser, Wooks, and Barry Hall. I'm very happy with that. I feel like I've done a good job of balancing being efficient and making the videos and having some sleep thrown in there as well. And that just leaves the final relics. Tier 6! What are we looking at here? All of the final relics boost your attacks by 10% accuracy and 10% increased damage. That is not specific to any particular relic. Draining strikes. Whenever one of your attacks successfully hits, there's a 50% chance that you will restore your hit points and prayer by 10% of the damage dealt. So whenever you're in combat, you're always healing your prayer and your hit points. Exploding attacks turns all your attack styles into AoE damage, like a barrage or a chin chomper. However, it doesn't work outside of multi-combat. Weapon Specialist. Special attack recharges three times faster, and all special attack weapons now cost 20%, no matter what they used before. I think, for me, it's a toss-up between this one and the one that heals your prayer and hit points. However, I think with my regions, I don't have good enough special attack weapons to warrant choosing this one. So therefore, I'm going to go for Draining Strikes, lock in the final relic. It's all done. I'm, I'm happy. We're going to do it. Okay. I've thought about this for a while. Full power, all relics unlocked. I'm strong now. Yeah, so... Now what? Let's quickly test this relic in action. I drained my hit points and prayer. And if I start whipping it, I start gaining back stats. That is going to be very useful for PVM. I ended up going for this one because I like to choose relics that affect you in all circumstances. The exploding attacks is limited to multi-combat. And with the special attack one, I don't think I've got good enough weapons to use that. Also, can I really be bothered clicking the special attack button three times more than I already do? Probably not. And that's it. The journey to all the relics is over. From this point out, I don't care about stats. I don't care about points. We're going for some PVM. Gonna try and get the best items I can on this league. Maybe I'll return to the point grind in a bit, but I think for now it's time to give that a rest. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and of course, subscribe. Back through the door, back from the star, back to the wall, with my back to the wall, rolling up a blunt, passing it off, ass on the floor, cash back on the floor.